Welcome back. I am here with Jeremy Knopf and Raymond Lott. These two gentlemen are Marine Corps veterans. And as a result of the horrific event in Afghanistan last month, they, um, as a result of a completely different conversation, are creating an event in the memory of the victims. And I'm going to let them tell you all about it. Jeremy, Raymond, welcome. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Brian. Thanks for having us. My pleasure. So Jeremy, tell me, how did this come about? And what exactly is this concert event going to be? Yeah, so in a nutshell, this all came about as a result of a completely unrelated conversation. And um, it quickly evolved into what's become a concert now that's going to be serving as a fundraiser for the families of the 13 fallen. So within the military community, um, you know, when this happened, when this kind of thing happens, a lot of times the families get left out, uh, you know, they get their life insurance, but then they're, you know, they're basically out of that world. So veterans tend to stick together. Veterans tend to support each other. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to come together and support this family in a way that they wouldn't have to worry. Their kids wouldn't have to worry. They're taken care of, you know, as much as we can possibly take care of for them. So we're, we're putting together this concert as a fundraiser for them to provide as much support really as we can for this. Um, I reached out to several veterans. Raymond was one of them. And so far, everyone's jumped on board, super eager to help. And that's just, that's how the veteran community operates. So Raymond, I'm going to ask you, tell us a little bit more about the concert. Who's going to be there? You yourself are a number one billboard artist. We're so excited to hear more about the people who are really jumping in here. Well, thank you. Thank you for asking that. And thank you for caring for the veterans. Um, so it's going to be myself. Uh, we have a chart topping hit. It's called uh, The Patriot. It, it rose to number one on the Billboard charts and other charts as well. And then I'm going to be bringing along my all military veteran record label of all genres. So there's going to be uh, I have country artists. I have hip hop artists. I have alternative artists and, and, and also singer songwriter artists that is going to be joining this whole concert because we want to show that um, Love has no genre. Love has no boundary. Love has no um, no no walls. We're just gonna all come together and share music with everybody, and show that we can all unite through music and come together for a common cause to provide some type of healing for the families who lost their uh, troops out of war. So, where is the concert taking place? We're still working on the exact location. We've got one place locked down, but we're probably going to overfill the capacity of that location. Um, we're gonna, this is kind of a, a work in progress. It's all evolving very quickly. So um, people can go to, the website will be Overwatch 13. And for those of you who are not familiar with some of the military terminology that we use, Overwatch is a term for, you know, if one unit is moving up towards the threat, there's another unit behind providing security providing cover fire, things like that. So this is basically a, uh, you know, we're providing overwatch for the family is the way that I look at this. So we're, we're trying to provide overwatch for the families, give them some support, give them some cover. And uh, so op, uh, overwatch 13 is the website where we're gonna have all the up-to-date information as, as everything evolves. Um, once we get everything set up, they'll be able to order tickets there, uh, make donations, all of that stuff they'll be able to find out who the sponsors are who are supporting this. And so far we've got some great companies and great people supporting us. You know, Raymond was one of the first people I reached out to um, and he was super eager to help with this. Um, but I also wanna give a shout out to um, Charlinda Scales with Mutt's Sauce, um, Jay, uh, Jason Murph with Grill Your Ass Off and View Stub is actually coming in to help us provide the platform for this entire event. So we've had a lot of support, um, but that website, Overwatch 13, is going to be where they're going to be able to find all of the information as it evolves, as we solidify all of the details. Super. And I, I understand that this is an in-person event. Is it also something that they'll be able to stream? How, how is that going to work? Absolutely. So it's a combination of a physical in-person event, as well as uh, a virtual or, or hybrid type of event where people can pop in there through their computer, through their phone, however they want to do it. Um, and ViewStub is the, is the platform that's providing the functionality for that. So they don't have to worry about traveling if they're across the country and they don't have time. They can certainly just pop in remotely and enjoy all the great music, um, the camaraderie, 
the, the, the things that are typical with the veterans community while supporting these families. So the actual venue will be in Florida. Is that what I Absolutely. understand? Okay, yes, so well, we don't have a definite venue yet, but it will be in, just to help people narrow down whether they're across the country or in your own backyard. Yes. <laughs> so that's very helpful. Raymond, tell us a little bit about, about this all veteran production company. So um, when I was getting out of the United States Marine Corps, I was trying to find a purpose and find something to do as well as build camaraderie within my smaller community. Uh, but um, even though I served with infantry over in Iraq and Afghanistan, I didn't want to do security or a conventional job that we usually do when we get out of the Marine Corps. I wanted to do something more creative because I, music was just calling me. So I ended up going to LA and going to music school. And as I was uh, learning production as well as the business side of music, I noticed um, I was doing music and I was starting to be successful. I was featured by Apple Music, but I was like, I'm a rapper, but not everybody might like rap. So I was on a quest to find other veterans who did music, but in other genres, because I'm like, this is the best place of music school. So there has to be some other veterans who, who do music as well. So I was searching around. I found, I found some heavy metal people. I found some country people. I found some singer songwriters. And so over the next couple of years, I would just basically gather up all these musicians together, like Thanos when he's like gathering stones in Marvel movie or something like that. And I was just like, okay, cool. Now I have all the people together. Now, how can I crowd them together? And I was like, oh, I just need to build a record label. So I built a record label with the help of Bunker Labs, which is, all in a, uh, which is also a uh, veteran owned operated um, nonprofit that helps veterans and their spouses uh, follow their dreams, whatever it may be. I was like in this incubator environment and I was coming up with this record label and then we just dropped our first album and then it just took off and got more and more successful and then the rest is history. And, and not only did that record label give me purpose, but it gave other people purpose as well. And it also introduced me to other entrepreneur minded veterans such as Jeremy right here and Charlinda and a whole bunch of other people. So I'm very grateful for Bunker Labs uh, for helping be a catalyst in that whole uh, generation of this all military record label and it's just a beautiful thing and I'm just happy that we can provide music and camaraderie and happiness to people through music so I just had to team up with Jeremy on this project to do a live in-person concert to actually benefit something real. I love that thank you for sharing that story and I have to say I love most that you said oh I need to build a record label okay I'll build a record label and so I did. <laughs> if people think dreams are not possible, they need to listen to you some more. So well, thank would, you for would, sharing that. Thank you. I was just inspired by Field of Dreams. You know, the old, older movie, Field of Dreams, if you build it, it will come. So like, I think like that, I, when I, I'm like, oh, wow, this doesn't exist. Well, I guess it's up to me to do it. Or, you know, Jeremy saw this void here. He's like, oh, I guess it's up to me to build this concert. So that's how a lot of us think. A lot of us veterans and military <laughs> people, we go, hey, well, Although um, something doesn't exist, that doesn't mean that we can't make it happen because our military mindset tells us that we can do everything and anything. So I want you to tell us again, one more time, the website where people can find information. We will post all of your updates as they happen on our website also, so that our viewers can follow along and also um, send them to your website. Is there anything else you would like our viewers to know? Yes. So the website is overwatch13.com. And, you know, I just wanted to tack on to something that Raymond had said about, you know, how we, when the thing doesn't exist, we just jump in there and create it. And that's ultimately, that's, that's the veteran mindset, right? From the Marine Corps, we had a saying that was adapt, improvise, and overcome. And basically this is no matter what the situation, no matter what the challenge, we're going to find a solution. And you know that's the mindset behind this entire thing. And that's the mindset that's really ingrained into the veteran and the military communities. Well, I'd say that's a mindset that's healthy for absolutely anyone, especially a population coming out of a pandemic. So absolutely. let's just think about how we can um, say it again. Improv uh, what is it? Uh, adapt, improvise, adapt. and overcome. Adapt, improvise, and overcome. All right. Yes. We're going to give it our best. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming to share with us. And we look forward to your updates. And we certainly look forward to supporting your event. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Lauren.